Now, some Buffalo neighborhoods are being forced to go without fire protection because the city's fire department says it doesn't have the equipment on hand to respond. In the last two weeks alone, Buffalo's Firefighters Union says some firehouses pulled back coverage three different times. They say the fire trucks are in the repair shop or at the training academy, leaving crews with these SUVs to respond to calls. The union says these are not fire suppression vehicles. Tonight, the union president tells our Kristen Moran firefighters are struggling under the current arrangement. We don't have the proper equipment to handle the call. That warning from Buffalo Professional Firefighters Union President Vinnie Ventresca. Facebook post after Facebook post from local 282 page shows some fire stations are operating without frontline equipment. Ventresca says if firefighters are only responding in ARVs or pickup trucks like this, then it decreases your fire protection if there's an emergency. Every time that we have a fire in the city, they have to move companies around because you have these huge gaps in the district where the fire, the main companies from that district are responding. When you reduce the fire coverage, you're just sending companies from further away. They're certainly not within the NFPA standard for response times. There's no way that they're able to fill all the gaps and holes in the city. Ventresca says the fire engines are either being used for training or they're out for repair. Firefighters are running around in pickup trucks and doing some, in some cases, just EMS and in other cases, uh, doing fire operations, but with limited equipment and not the ability to, you know, use a ladder truck for our uh, rescue operations. Ventresca says with equipment constantly in the repair shop, it brings up concerns for how prepared the department really is should another major winter storm hit. What type of condition do you think the fleet's in? It's in a horrible condition. Here we are and it's November, almost November and we're definitely not prepared. Nothing has been done in fire to get ready for this uh, upcoming winter. But the city says more equipment is on the way. I asked a city spokesperson for an update on the state of the fire fleet. This afternoon, I received this detailed list. It says the city is investing millions this year, including a new aerial ladder that will be delivered to Seneca and Swan in two weeks. The city has also been approved for two new engines, pumpers, and two more aerial ladders, and is working to obtain a loan to begin the buying process. This is is what Fire Commissioner Willie Ronaldo told me about new equipment a few weeks ago. Uh, we have a $2 million aerial platform that we're anticipating uh, taking delivery of within the next couple weeks or so. Still, Vendreska says more needs to be done to protect you and the department when responding to emergencies. We want everyone to be safe. We want to be able to protect those people. And all we asked for in January and all we've been asking for for over these last five years is the proper equipment to do our jobs in a safe and expedited manner. And we are outside of Engine 35 here at Clinton and Bailey, where Ventresca tells me a rig is currently out of service as it's being used for training. Meantime, as we wait for that equipment to keep coming to the fire department, Ventresca says the firefighters will continue to do with what they can with what they have. For now, we are live in Buffalo this evening. Kristen Moran, 7 News. Yeah, something that impacts so many, Kristen. Thank you so much.